Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to set up Apache Airflow on Docker. So let's start the video. Apache Airflow is an open source platform for developing, scheduling, and monitoring batch oriented workflows. You can run Airflow in a variety of configurations from a single process on your laptop to a distributed system capable of handling massive workloads. Since we are installing Airflow on Docker, so we need Docker to be installed on your system. I assume you have already installed Docker in your system. You can open command prompt and type docker hyphen hyphen version and it should give you some docker version. Now you can type docker hyphen compose hyphen hyphen version to get the docker compose version. If you get the output of these two commands, then docker is installed in your system. Else you need to install the docker. So to install Airflow, we need a docker compose file. You can create your own file or we can take a file which is provided by the Airflow community. So open your browser and search for Airflow Docker Compose file. Click on this link and scroll down. And you should see a link as docker-compose.yaml. Click on it and your download will start. Now I will create a folder under documents where I will place my docker compose file. So I will create a folder with the name as airflow hyphen docker and I will place the file over here. Now let's open this folder in the VS code editor. Code dot. This command will open present directory in VS Code Editor. Now create one more file with the name as .env and put these entries in the .env file. That's it. Now open this location in the VS Code terminal and write the docker compose command docker hyphen compose space up hyphen d. It will take some time and if you see everything as green then we are good to go. Ok, so our setup is completed. It has created config, DAGs, logs and plugins folder for us. Now let's open our browser and go to localhost 8080. And you can see Airflow web UI. It's asking for username and password. So the default username is Airflow and the password is Airflow. You can get this from docker compose.yaml file. So I will go back to the web browser and the username is Airflow and the password is Airflow. And I am inside the Airflow web UI. And if you click on DAGs, these are the sample DAGs which comes by default. And you can see the sample task also. Now to stop the airflow, go to the terminal and type docker hyphen compose down. And now if I go back to the browser and refresh it, it's gone as we have closed the airflow. So we are able to set up Apache Airflow on Docker. So with this, I will wrap up today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.